Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna to take a look at the WeLight SO5 RGB Feel Light. I have three of them, and so I'm gonna show you how you can use these cool little lights to do some light painting with your GoPros. So I have my GoPro, I have the lights, let's unbox them so we can get them out, see what they look like, and then let's go do some light painting and I'll show you what these lights can do. All right, well here are the lights and we can see that there's two different names on here. We have Biltrox on uh, two boxes and We Light on the other. That's because, well, they are the same company. They have, they are under the same umbrella and they make the same products here. So, all right, um, it looks like they have some different colors for the lights. We have glaze blue, minimalist gray, and millennial powder. So let's go ahead, we'll open up the We Light first here so that we can get this one out, see what it looks like, and we'll see what comes inside of it. And looks like we're gonna get, um, looks like we're gonna get a few things. We are going to get our infamous silica gel. We always have to have silica gel. <laughs> and then we have, um, it looks like we're gonna get our charging cable here. It's gonna be a USB-A to USB-C cable. We're going to get a, uh, a user manual if we need that. And uh, we're going to get a, a little mini, um, a little cold shoe mount on here that we can use so we can mount this onto our cameras or other places if we need to. And then certainly last but not least, we have the light here. So um, you can see here, this is the millennial powder as they say. We're going to have the power button, a mode button, and the up and down buttons right there. And in the middle, we're gonna have a screen there so that we can actually see what modes we're in and the, uh, the intensities and all the information that we may need. Now this is gonna have a 2000 milliamp hour battery inside and input is five volts or and uh, two amps there. So on the bottom here we can see we have that, um, we have that cold, or excuse me, the quarter 20 mount. It looks like this might be some venting to keep the light cool. Um, on this side we're going to have the, um, we're going to have the USB-C port on there. It looks like maybe some more venting there. And yeah, the front part here, you can see there is a cover that's over it. I don't think this cover actually comes off. It's sort of a frosted um, cover over the actual LEDs. So it provides a little bit of a, uh, a little softening effect there. So yeah, all right, let's just take the, the other ones out right quick because they are going to be the same light just with different colors. So we, you'll get the same stuff inside. And this one here is going to be the Millennial Gray. So you can see that looks pretty nice. Just really kind of de uh, depends on your preference. And then we have certainly last, but again, not least, we have the, uh, we have the glazed blue there. So yeah, those all look very, very nice right there. I like them, I think they look good. And if you're, um, you know, one thing that's nice about these, if you're using these and you want to, um, you have somebody working with you and you want to tell them which light to change, you can just tell them change the blue one or change the, uh, this, you know, they may say millennial powder, this looks more like peach. You can say change the blue one or the gray one or the peach one or whatever, so that they know exactly which light to use. So, all right, um, let's go ahead now and um, I'm gonna set up my GoPro for, um, for light painting and I'll show you how to do that in the GoPro settings and then we'll go outside and we'll do a little light painting with these lights. All right, so here's my GoPro and the first thing we wanna do is just swipe over till we get to the time-lapse mode because that's where we wanna be. So we're gonna go ahead, once we're in time-lapse mode, we're gonna click on whatever mode is on there if it's not in the light painting mode. So we'll just click right here where mine says vehicle lights. And now you'll see there, we're gonna have many different options. You'll see where it says time, uh, time warp, lights, uh, star trails, light painting, vehicle lights, and also night lapse. We're gonna choose light painting. And before we actually do it, but we can go ahead and click it just so you can see that loads up on there. And it's gonna say, use a long exposure in dark environments to create brush stroke, uh, brush stroke effects with moving light. So, and what we wanna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna just click the little pin there so we can actually change how we want this. And you can see it's gonna show, you have the option for your trail lengths, you can have max or you can, or you can drop this down to, uh, to long, or you can have it at short right there, whichever one works best for you. Now, I do recommend just playing uh, with these and see which best suits your style, because even though I like 
what I like. You may like something a little bit different and the max, long and short, they all have to do a personal preference and what you're trying to do with your, uh, you know, with your light painting. So, all right, we're gonna go ahead and leave it on max, but you can see also on here, it'll show you, it says view example. So you can see right there what that's gonna look like. If you go to long here and click long, you can click view example and you'll get an idea of what that's gonna look like as well. And if you go to short, you can also see an example of how that is going to look. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, uh, uh, I'll leave that on max there. And now we're gonna leave the resolution. You can change it here at, you can leave it at 5.3 or you can go to 4K. You can also shoot at 16 by nine or go to four by three. I'm gonna leave it at uh, 16 by nine at 5.3K. That's the max resolution there. It says uh, the shutter is set for, uh, for two seconds. You can change that if you want. You can have it, uh, you can have the night shutter at two seconds. You can go here to half a second or you can go to night shutter at one second. I'll, I'll probably leave it there for the moment. And then you can see where it says duration, no limit. Uh, timer, it says um, it says a timer set for three seconds. This I think is very, very important when you're shooting anything that is long exposure. When you push the shutter button on a camera, there is a period of time where the camera shakes a little bit, even if you don't notice it, it may not even be noticeably shaking, but there's a little bit of vibration just from pushing that shutter button. You wanna give your camera a few seconds to settle down so it's still, and that's why I recommend using a uh, the self timer button on there. So, all right. Now you can see where it says duration, no limit. That means that it's gonna continue to shoot even you know for as long as you want it to until you actually push the shutter button again. Or you can change that and you can go from say no limit to, um, to 10, 15 seconds or one minute. I think there's a 30 second one in there somewhere. Let's see if I can get to it. Um, there we go, 30 seconds. You can go one minute, five minutes. I think there's a couple, it's kind of hard to get in there to get to each individual one, but you can go up all the way up here to three hours if you really want to do some crazy painting. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this at like 30 seconds. We're gonna, I'm gonna do it at like 30 seconds. I don't really need much longer than that most of the time, but we'll leave it there at 30 seconds so I have enough time to paint what I wanna paint and get out of the frame. So, all right, let's go ahead and go back now. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna leave zoom at one, at one X. And then here where it says bit rate, it's, uh, it's locked in on high. The white balance is locked, is uh, on auto. You can leave it on auto. I'm gonna try auto and see what it does. You know, we'll see how it works out. Um, now the ISO, it says, it's right now is set for minimum of 100, maximum of 100. If you have a very, um, if you have a shutter that's like two seconds, that may be enough. It may not be enough. You're gonna have to play with it a little bit and see what your uh, see what your image actually looks like, and then maybe make some adjustments. So, some people recommend going from anywhere from 100 to maxing it out at 800, which I don't have any problem with it. But because GoPros are generally pretty uh, noisy, I like to have them uh, locked in at 100 ISO unless I have to move it up, and then I'll move it up. So, all right. We'll see the colors locked in at normal. Everything else here you can leave as you, uh, you can adjust as you like for your layout, uh, for your shortcut layout. And then that's it. All right, we are, we are ready to go. Let's, uh, let's actually head outside into the dark and go do some light painting with these lights. All right, so I'm outside now and I have my lights set up getting ready for my light painting. So I have a blue light and a red light underneath my car there. And I'm actually using the light that I'm going to paint with just with the regular white light right now so that you can actually see me as I'm filming this bit here. So let's go ahead, have my uh, GoPro, uh, let's get my GoPro turned on and start doing some light painting so we can see how this is gonna look. All right, so I'm just going to run around the car, actually just walk around the car here, and I'm just going to sort of wave the light here. I'm just gonna wave it around. I'm just gonna have this thing, I'm gonna circle it here. Just go kind of nice and slow and just roll through here. I'm not exactly sure how much time I gave here on the GoPro, but I'm just gonna circle through here again and go, and then I'll stop the GoPro here. So 
I think I have this worked out. All right, I think I have this worked out. And what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and do the light painting around the car here. And then I'm gonna come over here and I'm actually going to step off to the side. I'm gonna turn the light off all together. And I'm gonna step off to the side and I'm going to then turn the light onto a white color there. And now I'm going to do a little bit of painting there. I'm just gonna, just gonna put some white light on the front of the car there and just gonna wave it across a little bit, paint right in there and hopefully it brightens it up a little bit. And there we go. And now I'll turn that off. And now let's see what we have. All right, that last one looked pretty good, but I'm gonna go ahead and I turned up the, the, the brightness on the light here. I turned it up to like 50%. It was only down to like 15% before, so I put it at 50% now so we can really get some good light on this car. It seems like it was getting the job done, but it just needed some more light on the car here. So there we go, we have some more light on the car. Let me go ahead, now that we've brightened it up a bit, let me turn it off and we'll get that going. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop it back down to not quite uh, not quite 50%. I'm gonna drop this down maybe to about 25% and put it back over into RGB mode. And now I'm gonna go back over and run around the car again with my light. So let me get over into place here. And now let me go ahead and turn it on. And there we go. Let me go ahead and get this going. And we'll zigzag that up front there. And I did like when I came down low, I did like how the light came through on the bottom, through the bottom of the car there. So I'm gonna do that again, which is what I'm doing right now. Just sort of zigzag in there. All right. Now, I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna come around here and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sort of wave it around the front here and see what this looks like. I'm nice and low and, uh, and get that there. And now let's go ahead and turn this off and get out of the frame. And then we'll come over, stop the exposure and we'll see what this looks like. Well, there you go. You can see you could do some pretty cool light painting with these uh, with these We Light Viltrox SO5 RGB lights. I want to try one last thing just with me, just sort of like light painting some circles or something with me without the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and just back the car up out of the way, and we'll try it again and see how this looks. But you can even see here, using this as like a main light can work. It's pretty dark out here, so you don't even need this light up very bright. I think it's at like 50% or something like that, but yeah. All right, let's go ahead and try again, just using me. everyone well there you go that is it that is how you can use the we light so5 rgb fill light to shoot some cool light painting images and video using your gopro it's super easy super fun and it just takes a little bit of time and i really recommend you experiment with it try some of the different modes that the light offers i didn't go through all the modes but the but the lights offer a ton of different special effects like sirens and, and lightning and all kinds of different things. So you can really have a lot of fun with the different modes with the light, doing some light painting, 
Try it out, see what you think. So, and you can also use these lights for pretty much anything. I mean, you could use them as main lights, you can use them as field lights, you can use them as background lights. Just give them a shot, see what you think about them. They're a lot of fun and they're small and pocketable and you can take them with you everywhere. So, all right, I'm gonna leave links to them down below in the video description so you can check them out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page, my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.